The Flying Embers drop of the day goes to the beast, Jack Robinson. To me, that drop was incredible because of the weightlessness. He just stood up and grabbed his rail, and I, it looked like a half an inch of his tail was still engaged in that <laughs> way. That was heavy. There's been no shortcuts, no freebies. Every wave uh, that you take off today at Pipeline, uh, it is all about commitment. So a well-deserved their uh, award from Jack Robbo. Definitely the performance of the day. Rock and roll coming in. 25-49, it is going to be David Silva. A quadruple pump bottom turn. Nicely positions himself. Quick little pocket ride there for Silva. But a good way to kind of better his position in the lineup. Sometimes you can use a smaller wave to put yourself in a better spot, get back out there into the peak position. 25-28 to go. First wave ridden from David Silva. Paddle here, Chris. All right, let's see who's going to crack this one open. Remember, Jadson and Carlos both have open priority. It's going to be Jadson Andre. Now that is steep. That is deep. Can he come out? He cannot. He felt confident that time because the foam ball was actually protruding out of the tube. That's when you know there's no surfer left <laughs> standing in there. What's the speed of this wave like? Does it catch people by surprise? It, it really does. Um, let's see a paddle here. I mean, even that, that's a, a good display of that right there. I mean, it, it's not an easy wave to catch, and it's going so fast that even a guy like Carlos Munoz, it almost looked like he got held up a little bit right, right there. And that was nice and clean. Oh, careful. Yeah, the wave is fast, uh, but, you know, you, you think about a fast wave, I, I think of J-Bay or Winky Pop. Fast down the line. Yeah, like laterally, that, yeah. you're moving places. You're going so fast. These guys, maybe even 25 miles an hour, they're just cooking. There's a lot of things that, that can either help you or hinder you get down that face. Well, we're getting scrappy here now at the end of the day. Jadson Andre, quick tube ride there. Nothing above a three on the scoreboard yet. Now we're talking, escalating a little bit, but falling down the escalator. David Silva, up and out. I mean, not today, it's nice to not have it on, but getting a bit of a helmet uh, tan and looking at Jadson taking off deep, nice and deep there, guys. It, I mean, I think it's just, yeah, it's amazing to see everyone just being safe. It's such a dangerous wave out here. It's so shallow and we have seen some of the best surfers in the world, you know have head injuries out here. So I think, um, yeah, everyone being safe is great. It's no bueno. You know, you only have one throwaway in the five events here. So every event is crucial, and they know that. So these guys want to get a big score right now. This is going to be Jadson up, out, and over. And in the goofy versus regular conversation, uh, right now he needs to tap into it. And here he is, Carlos Munoz, smaller wave. And nicely done there. I mean, basically got as much out of that wave as he possibly could. Interesting, too, that every wave these services caught has been that same look, same size. And we have a paddle to start. It is Carlos Munoz. Take the first wave of the set. It's a bigger wave. Has to pump hard to get through it. Gets clamped. Right behind that one, with priority, it's David Silva. He lets this one go by. Jadson Andre takes it, late drop into the pit. And he's eating. Gosh, I thought he had that, he was so close. Pipeline is hungry right now. He did a great job making that drop. You can see Jaddy made it right to the bitter end. It just needed to come out. And it looks like David Silva's got his head down. He's paddling, he's gonna use his priority on this first wave. Jadson, of course, a little Pokes at him with a stick a little bit. Quick tube ride there for Silva. He comes out after the spit. Judges are going to like that. That'll be a, probably another mid-ranger. With one minute, ten seconds to go. Jadson now. Late drop. Too late. Can't get under the lip, but does a nice snapping carve. Three to the beach for Jadson. Interesting. And here we go. Carlos Munoz. Late drop yep. in the barrel, not super deep, but could be effective. At this point, needs a 1.56, but we still have to wait for scores for David Silva and Jadson Andre. I think the score will be in check. Let's see if he gets barreled. Carlos Minos right there dragging, stalling, and he does, Chris. He gets behind a curtain for a hot second, so 
I'm going to stick with my theory that he's going to go from third to first. As we wait for the score for Carlos. Remember, he's looking for a 1-9-3. Tension, building. Did he do enough? He did. Oh. Carlos Munoz jumps into <laughs> first with a 3.4. Oh, Just enough. Put a vida. Costa Rica comes alive. I was holding my breath. I've that been pretty off. Wild. I haven't been in sync with the judges today, so I got one right. <laughs> for, right a, on Carlos. For, for a heat that gave us twos and threes at most, that was a very exciting finish.